to salinity and organic content in the water. The measurements proved that thanks to the controlled way of backfilling using spreader pontoons and discharging a meter above sea bottom, turbidity limits were never exceeded during the whole period of construction. Once the pipe lay barge Castoro 10 reached deeper waters behind the so-called Bodenrandschwelle, the barrier closing off the Greifswalder Bodden from the Baltic Sea, a second lay barge, the Castoro 6, would pick up the pipes placed on the seabed by Castoro 10 and continue pipeline installation in larger water depths. Castoro 6 is a deep water lay barge capable of placing the pipelines all the way into Russian waters with a much higher production rate than the shallow draft Castoro 10. Castoro 6 started placing the western pipeline continuing towards Finnish waters, whilst Castoro 10 was still placing the eastern pipeline up to the agreed laydown point. Once the western pipeline was laid down in the shallow water area, all operations were aiming to backfill the whole of the trench, as efficient and accurate as possible, and to complete the works before the winter season and within the working period dictated in the environmental permits. Various trailing suction hopper dredges were used for the operation, the larger vessels mainly working outside of the bottom, and smaller hopper dredges finishing the shallow areas inside of the Greifswalder bottom. The larger hopper dredges could backfill through their suction pipes, hence flushing material through the drag head into the trench using advanced automated systems. This led to very accurate backfill results for both the coarse and general backfill layers. By the end of November 2010, the backfilling of the trench was finished according to the client's specifications. The pipe installation works in the German landfall section was completed almost one month ahead of schedule and all contractual milestones were reached. Onshore, the two pipeline ends will be connected to the German gas network, from which the European gas distribution will continue. In late 2011, line 1 of the twin pipeline system will begin contributing to the energy security of the European Union, helping it to meet its greenhouse gas reduction goals. When fully operational in late 2012, the two lines will supply 55 billion cubic meters of Russian gas a year to the European Union for at least 50 years. A major infrastructure project in an environmentally very sensitive flora fauna habitat had been completed on time and within budget to the satisfaction of all stakeholders. Nord Stream, Saipem and Bourne adopted a one-team, one-goal approach which proved a key factor to the successful completion of this major project. <laughs>